Gearhead 327. Today I'm going to show you guys how I break in a camshaft. The engine we're going to be breaking the camshaft on is a 1975 Chevrolet 350. It came out of a police cruiser. A 1975 police cruiser. It's got the uh, old um, HEI. That's uh, a 1978 distributor still works that's in there for testing purposes I'll probably change that out we got a Edelbrock 650 AVS 2 carburetor that is an old uh, performer RPM manifold I bought from Pep Boys back in I think 99 uh, the heads are world heads torquers they were 67 cc's they were milled down to 64 cc's which gives me about 9.1 to 1 compression just shy of 9.2 to 1 the camshaft we're going to be breaking in in this engine is a Comp Cams XE256. And I put that in there for the low end grunt because this is going in my 4x4 project. Um, a few things about uh, camshaft. Now, this is um, uh, for another engine. This is just uh, like a torque cam. It doesn't have real high lift or duration or anything. It's made for that low end grunt like this one is and that's what I want that low-end grunt for pulling towing getting out of mud holes um, now guys it comes with camshaft lube some red gooey stuff now I'm old school and this is some uh, assembly lube I got from uh, PAW performance automotive wholesalers back in the day and you just uh, you know get this stuff and very liberally you know you put it on all the, the lobes now I uh, of course, I haven't cleaned this yet. I would clean this off with mineral spirits or something, gas, clean it up, and then feel if there's any uh, ridges or anything like that. But you put that on there very liberally and put it on the lifters, and it will um, it will uh, do its job and keep that camshaft from burning up. And why camshafts go flat and all that, that's the subject of another uh, video, which I'll do that later. And guys, uh, nowadays I wouldn't use this. Well, of course, I'd use 30 weight. That's just what I happen to have. And this has high zinc in it, but I wouldn't break the cam in with this type of oil. Now, after it gets broken and all that, then I'll probably put this stuff in there for flat tappets. Uh, and the reason for it is you can put this in there and it uh, has a lot of zinc, but it also has a lot of detergent, which washes the zinc off of the lobes. And then, you know, you wear out a lobe or wear out your lifter. This is the stuff to use. Now it doesn't have to be Lucas, but what you want is a non-detergent break-in oil. I know some of y'all will be tempted to buy this cheap oil and buy this additive. Now I, I might do that, like I said, after the camshaft is properly broke in. But like I said, um, I've uh, this is not my first rodeo here, guys. I've done Ford, Chevy, Mopar, and Pontiac, and had good success with uh, breaking them in. Um, so what I use is this stuff. Now you can use some Iski Rev Lube. Um, and also what I do whenever I you know, rebuild an engine or I'm changing out a cam is I put one or two bottles of this stuff in there. Now that, I know that's more old school and I know a lot of you new school people aren't going to do that. And that's fine. Y'all do it your way. But I'm just showing you how I do it. So um, now this of projects going on all at once. This is an old cam and if I was going to use an old cam I would probably take some um, 400 or 600 grit sandpaper and knock this stuff down. Of course I'm not going to use that but I'm just using that as an example. And uh, Same thing here with the new cam. I'd see if there's any spots on here and I might want to polish that up with uh, some special polish and things will go a lot better. But um, but you want to put this lube all over this and all over the uh, gear on the distributor. And like I said, you can't use too much of that stuff. All right, well, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get it started up. Now, guys, what I do is um, I start up the engine. You want to make sure you've poured gas down the uh, bowl of the carburetor. You want to make sure the fuel pump is primed. And you don't want to excessively turn this thing over and over if you don't have to. So... Uh, we want to go ahead and get it started up and what I'm going to do is let this run up to about 2,000 RPMs and make sure there's no leaks and then uh, we're going to vary it between 2,000 and 2,500, 2,500, 2,800, somewhere in there for about 25 minutes. Now I know if you read the blogs a lot of people say you do it for 20 minutes, you do it for 25, you do it for 30 
and you keep it right at 2,000 RPMs or you keep it right at 2,500 RPMs. Guys, I'm going to vary the RPMs because I want oil splashed up on that camshaft. I want that thing wore in. I want the lifters to get to know the lobes on the camshaft. So, all right, without further ado, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get it started. All right. Go to NASA 1. BPS arm switch is on. Here comes the starter. Circuit breaker's in. Okay guys, well uh, I'm not going to show the whole 25 minutes and you know truth be told the camshaft was already broke in. You know, I was just demonstrating what I did. But uh, I need to pull the valve covers off and make sure that the uh, everything is spinning around in there and it's not locked up. Now uh, guys, uh, I use this braking oil right here. Now in the old days what I would do is, uh, of course back then the we, we never worried about the oil. We just used whatever oil we had. And uh, we didn't, I didn't even know about zinc back then. You know, we just put the oil in there and it worked. But uh, nowadays, well, back then what we would do is uh, after about 25 minutes or whatever, go ahead and drain the oil out and put some new oil in there and a new filter. Uh, nowadays, what I'm going to be doing with this break-in oil is I'm going to be uh, leaving that oil in there. I'm going to change that filter out and I'm going to put about 500 miles on the vehicle and then uh, I will change it out and then I will either... Um, use this once it's broke in or I'll use this and of course like I said I'd use 30 weight or more um, like that so you know four quarts of that four and a half quarts five quarts of that plus some of that um, but anyway guys that's how I broke in a camshaft and guys I remember uh, I think the first engine I ever rebuilt we uh, put it in the car we didn't even we didn't even hook the water up to it or nothing we just got it in there and started up and ran it like you know uh, five or ten minutes and we never had any camshaft issues back then so but anyway I hope you enjoyed this episode this is gearhead 327 out